Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my discussion of the Supernatural and Game of Thrones prequels. Now, I was wondering what I needed to do with this video, but I had seen that there was the information that we are going to be getting a Supernatural prequel series yesterday, and... I kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit and also kind of combine it with the Game of Thrones prequel because I've done reviews of both of these shows and the thing is I one of them I would be more inclined to actually watch and potentially review vastly over the other like with the Game of Thrones one that was mainly down to like the showrunners going like fuck it, and did whatever they want in the last season because they thought they were going to be able to do whatever the hell they, they wanted afterwards. Now, I'm still leery of it, and I'm like, I don't know, man. I'll kind of see what goes on. Maybe just check it out a few before I get like invested in potentially reviewing it. I bring that up because it's important with both of these kind of prequel things going on of like, okay, I've reviewed them. Would I want to go back into these universes? With the Supernatural one, I was not pleased with, like, how it ended and, like, pretty much the last decade of it. And just from what I heard from it, even just, like, the most basic of premise of, like, okay, uh, Jensen Ackles and uh, his wife are pretty much on it as, like, producers or whatnot, and that this prequel is going to follow John and Mary Winchester and have Dean narrating it. But just that alone is just like, no, why? We've already gotten so much stuff with John and Mary Winchester within the show itself with all the 15 years. Like, what are they going to do? We've already had conflicting things going on with them as retcons have already kind of mucked it up. What are they going to be doing with this, it's it's just... Pro the thing is, the network lost, like, one of its longest-running shows and that fan base, and they think this, they can throw whatever out there and be just like, hey, why don't we do a prequel since that, like, Wayward Sisters thing came to nothing? It's like... Ugh. I... I... <laughs> the thing is... They could have had some nice characters kind of focus on for a Wayward Sisters thing to go on, uh, with a good premise, good writing and everything, but the thing is, the writing went fucking bonkers towards the end. Not even just towards the end, for like a decade. It's like, what are you trying to do and accomplish? Granted, there's some good shit that popped up every now and again, but that was almost like always an exception rather than the rule. What the fuck is this thing gonna happen with? And we've John and Mary's tale is already pretty much been linked and shown out and borne out in the Supernatural show. That's always a problem with the prequels because you have to go to a predetermined end point. It's like, that's one of the things that the Game of Thrones one, granted, we already know where that end point is. It's set kind of like far enough back that you could have some little wiggle room or whatnot. With this, it's like you don't really have that wiggle room. Mary dies, and then fucking resurrected by the darkness, and fucking blasted by Jack. God, it's coming back. It's coming back! I, I just, I don't want to go back there. I'm done. They gate, like, I rode that to the end, and I'm not going back, because I was not pleased with the level of like competence and stuff like I was not pleased with what they thought was good enough for this show and for the fans and for everybody involved I'm like no their bar is like I just, no I'm like we already did so much crazy shit in the last season what the fuck are they gonna try and do and retcon with this and just fucking throw around with I'm like Good God, I understand doing a show for 15 years and then trying to figure out what to do afterwards. I was like, all right, see and do stuff. 
uh, seen Jensen do like Batman and the Long Halloween, do Soldier Boy and the Boys, and then like, all right, maybe you can do some other stuff. And it's like, uh, now granted, the network could have been like, we lost this and just like threw fucking money like ain't nobody's business. It's just like, is that money worth it? To what that content's gonna be, and it's like, uh, not really. I, I, just like, ooh. so, and then of course there's like the surrounding drama that this is all fucking unfolding with, which I don't care about. Like, I'm not here for the drama and this shit. It's just, oh god, I'm done. I was like, all right, Supernatural's done. It's like, nah, bitch. I don't know, but I'm like, mm, fine, do whatever you want. I ain't coming back. I don't care. No, no. And that, of course, then linked up to my feelings on what's going on with the Game of Thrones one. Because it's not... It's not as intense for some reason, because the showrunners are already gone. It's like, if they had... If the HBO's been like know what they did such a good job and brought those showrunners back in because for what's going on here i would almost assume that like enough people that had been involved in supernatural before would be brought back in to do this to try and pump this up and to have it as close as possible so that way they can fucking truly thunderfuck this dead corpse completely for however much they can get it for it's like all right cool fine whatever so it's kind of like a similar situation, but different because they're. I'm intrigued to see how HBO is going to try and salvage the Game of Thrones brand, even though that's been like pretty much like I I dodge that shit because of what happened. I'm like I'm done. I'm fine. And it's just like okay, like it's really weird. It'd almost be like the only way to like one-to-one -one, this kind of situation would be like if they brought in as many people that had been under Game of Thrones as it was to do this again I'm like huh and specifically putting it on the chop that it would be the same showrunners it's like since we could pretty much attribute that like they were pretty much like a driving force of what started to like fall off in the seasons now granted I understand that Martin fucked up and pretty much didn't give them the content that they needed to adapt all right that's a big fucking part. But, like, they drove that fucker down even further for what they needed to do because they're like, we're done. We want to finish this, so we got to write this shit ourselves. All right, fine, whatever. Money, money, money. Do what we want. Fuck, 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 whatever. And that's what occurred. Here, there's no kind of, like, central force, at least that I know of, to, like, pinpoint that. So I'm just like, and if enough of the people are who are part of what happened with Supernatural do this I'm like I'm, I'm done I already went through this I'm not going through it again God please no ugh so I pretty much also did this because I liked the kind of response I got when I was talking about the MCU and having a discussion on that and I thought that this popped up enough to have it's own kind of thing and be like since my Supernatural reviews where it was a big series for me to review on this channel. I was just like, oh god, this is big news, and this is going to create some shit. So I just kind of wanted to talk about that, and also lump in, uh, since the Game of Thrones one was kind of similar enough, my feelings on what's going on with that and why they're kind of different. So, since this is a discussion, I kind of want to know what your guys' thoughts are and everything. Just put them in the comments. How you're feeling that they're now with barely even a year done with the finale of Supernatural going the prequel route that quickly and how you feel about this. You're excited. You're like, what the fuck are they doing? Why are we going this route? Why are, if they want to be in the Supernatural universe, what kind of other spinoff ideas could they do to kind of like continue everything on? Just let me down, let me know down in the comments below and everything. Uh, also, like and subscribe and I hope you have a good day.